But Sarah said, God has made me laugh. Everyone who hears about this will laugh with me. The book of Genesis, chapter 21, verse 6. It was far above the powers of nature, contrary even to its very laws, that the aged Sarah be honoured with a son. And even so, it is beyond all ordinary rules that I, a poor, helpless, underdone sinner, should find grace to bear about in my soul the indwelling spirit of the Lord Jesus. I, who once despaired, as I well might, for my nature was dry, withered, and barren, and the curse like a howling wilderness. Even I have been made to bring forth fruit unto holiness. Well may my mouth be filled with joyous laughter, because of the singular surprising grace I have received from the Lord, for I have found Jesus, the promised seed, and he is mine for ever. This day will I lift up psalms of triumph to the Lord who has remembered my low estate. For my heart rejoices in the Lord, my horn is exalted in the Lord, my mouth is enlarged over my enemies, because I rejoice in your salvation. I would have all those that hear of my great deliverance from hell and my most blessed visitation from on high laugh for joy with me. I would surprise my family with my abundant peace. I would delight my friends with my ever-increasing happiness. I would edify the church with my grateful confessions and even impress the world with the cheerfulness of my daily conversation. Bunyan tells us that Mercy laughed in her sleep, and no wonder when she dreamt of Jesus. My joy shall not stop short of hers, while my beloved is the theme of my daily thoughts. The Lord Jesus is a deep sea of joy. My soul shall dive therein, shall be swallowed up in the delights of his society. Sarah looked upon her Isaac and laughed with an excess of rapture and all her friends laughed with her. And you, my soul, look on your Jesus, and bid heaven and earth unite in your joy unspeakable. Amen.